What's up, Six Stringers? Welcome to Nitro Licks. Today's lesson, 1983's Rock of Ages by Death Row. Alright guys, let's get into that main riff, opening riff. I'm gonna start off. And the first first time around it is just one guitar. It's a little bit thinner sound. It's just the top of the chord, I think anyway. So you're at uh, G4, B5. four times and then twice if you want to come down a whole step or two frets and that's G2 and B3 okay and then on this one I don't think it's I mean well first of all we're on A2 and then four on D and G but I don't think he comes down to an A power chord like that the first time around. It sounds more like it's just the open A string. Back to those chords that you open with, it's just reverse order. You come down and grab your open E power chord. Okay? And then that next lick is... So... Two to four, slide up from two to four on your G, down from five to three on the B. Okay, so again, the opening okay, and then the other guitarist comes in and that thickens up the sound, and now we have a fuller chord. So Same as before, but now you're adding in your D string. First, second fret, and then open. Right? And then the next, next time you want to slide down. It's like before, but we're adding that slide in to fill that space up. So now it's like, Hit that one more time. Okay, moving on to the pre-chorus riff. Uh, pretty simple and basic stuff, a lot of space in between. Cool riffs though. So now we're at a similar shape as earlier, but we move up the neck. So now we're on uh, G9 and B10. And like before, you just move down two frets. Okay, so dropping down to G7 and then that B8. You do that twice. So it goes like this. You're throwing in that open E chord again, um, but I think now, instead of here, you want to come up to A7 and then 9 on your D and G strings. 
then come back up here. Okay. So that's that uh, G7, B8. And then slide back up real fast. But don't pick this one. You just slide into it. And then three times. Okay. So. That's uh, kind of the filler in that space between the pre-chorus and the chorus. He hits that open E. Eight, it's eight times. And then we go into the chorus. Okay? So, again, that last time... Eight times. And then... Starting on the A3 twice. D5. D2. D4. Back to D2. And then uh, open D. And then back to the second fret. Okay, now this stays the same. You're just changing that root note. You're just going down to that open E. So. done that twice, if this continues to stay the same, what you're doing up here on that D string, but now you're on an open A. So now we're... And then also, you want to uh, play it more like a chord. Play the strings together. And then back to that third fret, uh, like the first lick in the chorus. But now you're playing the strings together. Um, playing as uh, one guitarist, it is a little tricky because they do different things uh, working together. So one thing you could do is maybe coming out of that chorus on the... that slide and then come back to those chords it's just a cool way to uh, include the those little details and nuances that make the Def Leppard recording so cool just all those slides you know they don't have to do that but they just do that to fill in that space if you want to replicate that as one guitarist just don't finish all the way the cut it off so you'd be like this right okay that's the chorus riff let's move on to the leads
All right, now on to the fun stuff, um, the leads. So that first lead, um, it's in the second verse. It goes like this. It goes back into that. Okay. So, um, it's kind of hard to hear. I've listened to this song so many times and I'm still not 100% sure how he begins this. It kind of sounds like a break across the strings and just a little bit of a slide in to this double stop on the 12th fret. Um, and that is on your D and G. So kind of like a... That wasn't very smooth, but and I have trouble with it, to be honest. And then just depress your whammy bar. Dive down and then cut it off. So kind of like... Cut it off and then maybe like a quarter step or half step bend on that third fret on the E string. Grab uh, D2, maybe a little bit of a pick squeal or vibrato, and cut it off, and then back to your E3 and then an opening. And probably a quarter step, half step bend there too. And then let that ring out. Okay, so. So, just grab D14 twice, real fast. And then come up to uh, G14. Those are full step bends. Four times. Sorry. So, B12, and then B15. And then back to that B12, G14, G12, and then G14 full step bend. back into that pre-chorus, like I said. And instead of going to the chorus, we start the solo. Uh, so the first part is like this. Okay. So. Probably half step bend. A5, and then A7, yeah, twice, I'm sorry, and then slide, maybe add some pick squeals in there if you can, and slide, and then slide again. So you're sliding into that A7, D5, D7. Another slide. That's just back and forth, A5 to A4. that a full step bend if you can. Slide again and then come up to the, that's that uh, B15. Okay, so full step bend on that B15. Hold it. 
release it. And then grab your B12. And then pull off from 14 to 12 on the G. Grab that D14. Back to your G12. And then that G14. Full step bend. And then as you've got it bent, just keep picking. And then release it. And the vibrato on that G12. Okay? So. Okay. And then next we have the. Okay, and we're just hit that open G and start hammering on it on that 12th fret. And then dive down with the whammy bar, right? So. And that's the uh, harmonic there on that uh, fifth fret. Okay, and on those harmonics, it, it, just in case you don't know how to do that, you just lightly lay your uh, finger over the fret. In this case, it's the G5, as I said. Just kind of take the pad of your finger and just, you just want to barely touch it. If you don't know how to do it, just play around with the pressure you put on that fret until you can make that ring out. So if you, uh, if you push down too much, it won't ring out right. Okay? You just want to lightly touch that. And then three little whammy dives. That third one, uh, I think the die. I think he dives more. I think it goes like this, like that. Okay. And then we come up to some double stops again. Here we start on the twelfth fret. Just lay across that twelfth fret on your D and G. May uh, yeah, D and G. Okay. So. That last time, maybe try to give it a little bit of a vibrato. And then uh, you do that again, except you start on the 14th. Hammer on the 16th, pull back off to that 14th fret, and then come back down to 12. Okay, and then Okay, and that's very similar to the last time. B15. Release it, pull off to that B12. Okay, so after you, after you do that three times, it's just that open G. And then grab that whammy bar and do another dive. Now what I'm doing there is G12 to G14 and then G14 with a bend. Maybe a quarter or half step, probably a half step bend. Right? So one more time, nice and slow. That's how you play Rock of Ages by Def Leppard. A lot of fun, not real difficult. Learn some other stuff on my channel. I've got a lot of classic rock, glam rock, alternative, metal, country, country rock. We love it all at Nitro Leaks. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time.